Hello and welcome back to Book Miss. Today I'm going to be telling you 10 authors that are automatic buys for me and why. So first up we have Emily Henry. I love her. <laughs> the only book I do not own is Happy Place but that is only because I am waiting for the paperback so it can match my shelves. I ended up getting it at my library so I have read it. I just am waiting to buy it until it's in paperback but I have loved just about every single book that she has so I will always buy whatever she writes. I will read it. Um, I can't wait for the new one that's coming out and so Emily Henry just like can do no wrong by me so I'm just gonna continue to buy whatever she writes even without knowing the plot line. Like it's a romance I'm gonna love it. Number two is V.E. Schwab. While I have not read everything I do own quite a few of her books. I have read the Dark Shade of Magic trilogy, Addie LaRue, and I have read the Villains duology which I'm obsessed with. I own um the first book in the I think it's a duology, it's The Savage Song, and I own Gallant, but I haven't gotten to either of those yet. I also own the new Fragile Threats of Power book. So I will literally read anything this woman writes. It's just about when. So I do own books that I do plan on reading, and I'm going to continue to buy her books and read them because everything that I have read that she has written, I have loved. So like, why wouldn't I just continue to read everything she writes? Like, I love this woman. <laughs> everything is so good like the villains duology is one of my favorites um I also really liked darker shade of magic maybe not as much as the villains duology but I did still really love it like I'm excited to read fragile threads threads of power I just haven't had time to get to it yet so V Schwab I will read anything she writes number three this one's kind of obvious Sarah J Mass. Obviously, I have read the only thing. Okay, the only thing I will not read that she wrote is the Catwoman book um, that she wrote. I heard it was bad, anyways, but also I'm just not interested. Anything she writes that's for herself and her own plots, I will read. I own all of Akatar in the new paperback. I also have the collector's edition and I have the original covers for the first two books. I have the hardcover original set of Throne of Glass and the new paperback version. And then Crescent City, I own the hardcovers because that's how they came out. And I also own the Illumicrate of the first two. And I also have a Throne of Glass collector's edition. So I own a lot of her books. That's probably the most of like multiples I have. And I'm really excited about CC3. I'll read anything this woman writes. At this point, she has me in a chokehold. I'm rereading Throne of Glass um, on and off right now. So I know I'll reread them, which is why it justifies me having so many copies. Um, the paperbacks are because I need to annotate them. Um, but yeah, I think that's like obvious for me. Like Sarah J Mass, I'm gonna read whatever she writes. Her four is R.F. Kuang. I love R.F. Kuang, okay? Um, Yellowface was good, but it is definitely my least favorite. I, I just prefer fantasy elements and this was more of like a lit fic. But of her fantasy stuff, I love it. The Poppy War series, if you've been around, you know that this, that's one of my favorite series like of all time. I love the Poppy War trilogy. If you haven't read it, you definitely should. And then Babel was so good as well. I, I loved Babel so much. So I just know that if she's going to write something, especially with fantasy elements, I'm going to love it. Like I will read, I'm going to read whatever she writes regardless of if it has fantasy or not. But all of the ones with fantasy are just really good and I will continue to read them. I wish that she would write more like the popular. But then also, maybe let's not, because I don't know if I can handle that kind of, that level of trauma again. Um, I knew as soon as I read the first one that I was just going to have to read everything that she has. <laughs> so I will definitely always buy R. F. Kwong books. The next one is Allie Hazelwood. So I think that I own everything that she has that is published. I'm really excited about Bride coming out. Um, the only one I didn't really like was Loath to Love You, which is her novellas. But I'm not a novellas girly. I am a Kylo Ren girly, so Love Hypothesis was it for me. They are, I know, cheesy and not like the best as they're almost all of them are based on fan fiction. 
but they're fun and I thoroughly enjoy them and they're also the kind of books that I could devour in one or two sittings most of the time one you just can't put it down so I'm going to continue to buy Allie Hazelwood's books because they're just my type of fun <laughs> next up is Madeline Miller <sighs> this woman she stresses me out because I just wish she would release another book Song of Achilles, I loved it. I cried. Cersei, I know it's a slow read, but I really love Cersei. And the more you think about Cersei, the more I, like, think about how good of a book it was. So, and I know she has, like, I think a short story maybe that I don't own, but I need her to write more books because I'm going to buy them. It's just she's not releasing them. And I would really like her to give them to me. There's so many retellings that I would love for her to do. And I need them now. <laughs> Next up is Stephanie Garber. Uh, I loved the Carval series. The last book wasn't like my favorite, but I think, in my opinion, she's not good at wrapping it up. Okay? Because the last book in both of her trilogies I, was my least favorite of the series, but A Curse, um, Once Upon a Broken Heart, <laughs> that series, I loved it. The first two books were so good. Like, so, I was obsessed. She let me down a little bit with A Curse of True Love. But I will continue to read anything she writes because I love the way that she writes stories and I love the types of stories that she tells. So I'm going to need some more from Stephanie Garber because I definitely think that she's one of my faves. Next up is Lee Bardugo. Um, I am a little bit behind. And by a little bit, I just haven't read the sequel to Ninth House, but I own it. I own all the Shadowhunter books, Six of Crows. I have multiple copies of Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom because I have special editions. And then I also have a signed edition of Shadow and Bone. I love her. I love everything she writes. I'm really excited about her new book that's coming out next year as well. Um, I really need to read Hellbent because I, l I really liked Ninth House. So, But I feel like I can't remember what happened in Ninth House and I don't want to have to reread it. So once again, if anyone knows of a recap video, tag me in it or comment it below so that I can go watch the recap video so I can watch Hellbent. But I'll read anything that Lee Bardugo writes, honestly. Next, number nine, is Grady Hendrix. I am a little bit behind, but I have read quite a few Grady Hendrix books and I've loved all of them. I have We Sold Our Souls, but I haven't read it yet. And then I don't own Horror Store, but I want to read it. But as he continues to publish books, I'm going to continue to read them. It's it's my favorite like spooky season reads because they're not horror in the way that it's like just straight up gore. They have a little bit of something else going on. You know what I mean? I guess it's hard to explain, but I love Grady Hendrix. I will continue to read anything that he writes as well because I've loved everything that I've read by him. That I haven't read something yet that I was like, oh, this wasn't that good. So I will continue to buy his books and read them. And then lastly, we have Hannah Grace. After Icebreaker and Wildfire, you can keep giving it to me, okay? I loved Icebreaker. I think I liked Icebreaker better than Wildfire, but Wildfire was good in its own way. Because they're very, like, while they're attached, they're still two very separate books. You know what I mean? Um, so, and I'm really excited for Daydream to come out. Um, so I will read anything that Hannah Grace writes at this point because I waited way too long to read Icebreaker. And that, again, like, I don't know what it is about her romance but it's the kind that I like I can't put it down and I enjoy every second of it so I will definitely read anything that she writes as well and with that let me know who some of your auto buy authors are um, maybe I'll find some new favorites but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye